Sad shit, serious. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again, my friend. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. All right. So shout out to everyone. Happy 2020. Happy New Year's to every last one of you guys. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to my newbies. Thank you so much for stopping through and clicking this video. We're gonna find out what the energies are surrounding us for January. January 2020 this is show me the money season yes indeed honey everyone's gonna have to show us their worth in 2020 yes god they need to show us if they're worthy of our energy and our blessings and our love for show so thank you guys so much for checking in if you guys would like to uh, book a personal or private reading if you want to show some support to the page only thing you need to do is click that about tab my booking page is there if you would like to link up with me um, if you have any questions or concerns and um, I always do video chat so it's very very good for us to become friends on Instagram so make sure that you send me a message on Instagram all right the booking page is there and uh, make sure that you send me a message on Instagram after you book so we can hook up for the video chat all right so um, if you want to send any love or support to the page also number one way to send um, love to the page is by clicking that like button and sharing and subscribing I want to give a shout out to all my babies that have shown support and have given support Support to the page by like donations through the Amazon wish list, through Cash App, through PayPal. Um, it's made it possible for us to use these decks that we're using here today. This is the architect deck that we're going to be using today. And then this was sent to me on my birthday. Yes, the in between several decks. So thank you guys so so much for your on point love. I really appreciate it. So if you guys want to show some love or if you want to book a reading, all the information is over in the about tab. Okay, so let's get into this energy. Of course, we're always going to give thanks so we're going to uh say a prayer over this energy so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for sagittarius you know we are so curious about our blessings father god we are in this energy of just go get them all we got our fire lit now we are driven we are ready to go we are ttg we are trying to win around this time okay so please give us guidance continue to lead us continue to give us you know that test of faith, you know, anytime that um, we start to lose faith and, 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 and try to go down and, and, and dwindle down and, and, and go in our feet feeds and start getting all emotional and, and, and maybe self-doubting about something, you always give us that test of faith, that moment when you uh, kind of like dangle our blessings in front of our face, be like, you thought, I, you thought I didn't know about this? You think you, yeah, you want this, right? All right, come on, get up, let's go. You know, so you always, like, kind of, like, keep us on track. And a lot of what we've been going through is a test of faith. And thank you for continuing to test us because it strengthens us. It helps us grow. And we're not the same person that we were yesterday, uh, Father God. So we just thank you. Give us guidance for Sagittarius for January 2020. And thank you so much for the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. And thank you so much right now for the blessings to come. Amen. All right. Let's get into this. All right. So let's see what we got we got the Althea this is the truth card it's no in between it's out of the light of the day the truth or a lie is or it isn't the king there's a it's the truth that needs to be spoken by this king. In this card, if I read you from the book, it means honestly a truth needs to be spoken. Something needs to come out. That there could be something hidden that someone needs to just come out and speak up. And it seems to be the masculine energy here. So let's see. And as you can see, you see this right here, you know, back in like the Elizabethan times, like that little, that's like a wax seal on a message. You know, you see that right there on his hand? So, y'all might be getting some type of form of communication from um, masculine. What is this? The creator. The one. The flame. 
the prayer. Okay. So basically what I'm getting here is there's a truth that needs to come out that needs to be spoken here by a king, by the masculine in your life. Or maybe uh, you might need to face the truth about some reality in order for you to attract the type of king energy in your life. Um, that could very much be be this situation as well because you're the master of your soul you're the captain of your destiny do you understand you are the creator you are the one either someone is expressing this to you that they're coming out and speaking the truth towards you either about something that they have hidden it could be that they want to step up and be the king the masculine in their life that they want to create something with you that you are the one <laughs> You know, that there's a flame burning. There's a passionate desire there. And you might be the one that they've been praying for. You know, could very much so be that. Or like I said, it could be something hitting. But honestly, I'm feeling like the, what's hitting is the desire. New creation. This one is the one. This is my destiny. This is why... My soul is lit right now. This is the one that I've been praying for. This is the one that I've been dreaming for. This is the one. Brand new creation. Trying to start a brand new life. A brand new venture with someone. This is honestly what I'm getting. I feel like there's some type of hidden intentions. Like there's some type of intense passion here. Um, from a masculine energy. And it may be a secret. It may be a secret. Yeah, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting. It's like, ooh. My candle went right out. Okay, girl. Let me throw my candle out. Is that a message? What you trying to tell me, girl? Ooh, what you trying to tell me, girl? We trying to blow my candle out. Alright. Clarify. The creator in the front. I don't know why that's sticking out to me like that. That is why. Mm, I seen the ace of coins when I was shuffling it and I looked at it. I was going to say something, but I didn't. But now it's in the reverse. The seven of cups in the reverse. The queen of wands in the reverse. The two of cups. Okay. So, there has been a lapse in time. It seems that uh, something that should have had a strong, uh, passionate beginning, something that should have been able to stand the test of time, it seems like it didn't. It seems like someone was maybe over fascinated by many options and might have made a wrong choice or decision in their options that they had and yeah I, I feel like someone was left kind of lonely someone was left sad someone I feel like that's why the flame went out that's why the flame went out and then my lighter just fell down. That's why the flame was put out. I, uh, 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 something that was supposed to stand the test of time didn't because someone got caught up in options. And it looks like didn't necessarily have a sense of value. Um, Might have been suffering from some level of emotional addiction. It's like uh, emotional addiction of feeling like they're needed. I feel like this Whoever this person was that ran away, you see this person is running past the, the, the shimmering rose, the diamond rose. That's what I look at this as, like the diamond rose, like this person ran past it. So, and it's like the vase is broken and everything like that. And this is representing time and effort. So this is basically telling me this is where a lot of time was lost. There was a lack of effort. It seems like someone 
was continuing to make the wrong choices and maybe lost their passion or kind of sense of worth. That's what I'm getting here because if you look at this, this is the Queen of Wands. You see how she's looking down like on a school or like some type of education or something like that. Uh... This looks like a judge, like like a um, like a courtroom, like a court place or something like that. Like, did you lose your place in court? I feel like someone selected the wrong cup, and this one lost out. And I feel like she's upset. I feel like she's widowed. And it was a sense of loss of time. A sense of loss of value. Feeling like they couldn't create. Feeling like they couldn't create. Because you see the creator in the one. It has a lot to do. And I feel like this person might have lost their self in. Maybe someone didn't choose them. And because of that. Maybe you lost sense of time or kind of sense of value. And please do not take, don't be offended by this. But it's just like, I don't want to be lonely. So I'll just fill myself with, you know, it's like I'm not looking for the one, kind of. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's kind of what the Queen of Wands in the reverse can be. That can be like a bachelorette. Like someone that's just kind of playing the field, kind of like doing her own thing. That's not really trying to start nothing new. Not trying to begin nothing with anyone. You know, she's not trying to give her time to people like that. You know, like maybe the type of people that she's dating and the people that she's choosing right now maybe might not be the best options and she might be walking right past the shining star and the jewel but i feel like this sense of the two of cups in a, a family and of true love that is something that is very high on this plate like this person really does want true love this person wants a soulmate and i feel like because I feel like because someone didn't choose them, I feel like because someone didn't choose them that they might just be playing the field right now until they really feel that soulmate energy, like that true love, maybe someone that they can um, kind of introduce into their family, someone that they can really like celebrate their life with like true harmony maybe like even a blended family like this person has I already have kids and this person is coming into my life and we're blending our family or something I feel like this is like an already made family type of thing like that where all of our kids and we can all come together and celebrate and do cool stuff and it, 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 it's like that's what this person wants like she or he wants the one that's what they're trying to create the energy of the one but i feel like there has been some level of choosing the wrong cup that maybe someone needs to recognize because it's something about someone keep making the wrong decision keep keep choosing the wrong type of people Wanting this level of love, but choosing the wrong type of people. And it's something about what you're attracting based off of your energy right now. With this Queen of Wands being in the reverse. Because I do feel like there was some level of hurt. Because someone walked right past you. And you're that diamond rose. Do you understand? Someone walked right past you and, 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 and made a wrong decision. And so right now, I just feel like you're just not really... Mm. Mm. I just feel like you're not going to be attracting the one right now. And maybe that's the truth. I feel like that's the truth. Maybe it's someone that's looking for a king. 
you're looking for a king, but it's like no one that you could really start anything because it's like you keep tracking in the same energy. It's like you, you're attracting the wrong energy. Just Queen of Wands in the reverse, but it's like you want love and you want a soulmate. Clarify the truth, please. I know how that feels because I've definitely done that before. And it's like, I'll date someone different, but as soon as I start talking to them, I'm like, uh-uh, you remind me of my ex. And it would just, like, creep me out. And it's like, why am I keep attracting the same type of people? You know what I'm saying? It was, like, irritating me. So it was like, what is it about me that I'm exuding what I'm attracting? The same shit in a different toilet. That's really a waste of time instead of me really getting the true connection and the love. Like, why am I not finding that connection? And I feel like that's what... The Sagittarius is trying to do is find the connection and it's like having to dig deep and get to the truth of what they need to do to attract that masculine energy so that that, that communication can kind of come in. It's like creating that energy, manifesting that energy to find the one and getting that flame reignited within their self. And I feel like that's what they're praying for. Let's see what this says. The king of coins in the reverse. Yeah, it's like you're, like you are attracting people that do not have a sense of value, that don't have a sense of time, that it's like a waste of time that um, you maybe even possibly have to take care of that's lacking. Do you understand? That is, don't know how to build, that doesn't know how to create. Like, this is not someone that's going to stand over their children and like, Put the energy in making sure that they're giving that value, invested time in their children and making sure that their children is getting the best out of life or even that they are putting their self in the predicament to provide for their self, their children and their wife and their well-being. It, it, it's something about that, like attracting people of lack. Like that's the truth. What is this? The Ten of Swords. And it's, it's like... You attract these type of people and always have to, like, find a slow crawl back to the top of, like, mentally recovering from, like, I want to say, like, kind of, like, feeling used. Like, 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 yeah, like, you feel used because if you look at this person, this is a woman growing old, kind of taking care of her family by herself. Do you understand, like, teaching the children by her own? You don't really see a masculine energy being depicted there. But at the same time, like, the male energy is not there, but she is, like, substanding and raising her lineage, her children, to be successful, you know? But it might be without... The aspect of a king there and, and, that, and that's the that's a problem that's a problem that's a problem and it's let me look at this look you see how this lady is sitting up there talking to this man so this is the ten of swords going into the ace of swords right yes this is the ten of swords going into the ace of swords so the ace of swords is like a revelation truth realization Honor, integrity, respect. You know? Loyalty. Being smart. It's, it's, it's like finally being able to like tell yourself the truth or tell maybe a king the truth. Maybe you don't look at this king as if they're able to sustain they're able to sub provide they're able to give you the protection and the respect and honor that you deserve it's it's in some level this person is attracting a, a, a person that's it, it, it's saying a man but they're not a man that really this woman has to step up and be the man and it's it, it's it's really something that this woman does not like do you understand what i'm saying this is the king of coins, but it's a woman being depicted here. This woman needs a queen, I mean, needs a king, not 
a person in a state of lack. With this Ten of Swords, this might be someone trying to finally get to the point where they can face maybe the male energy in their life and tell them, look, this is not healthy for me. This is not what I need. Um, I'm creating something new. Do you understand? And maybe I need to set a boundary with you because if you look at this girl she looks like she's communicating to someone you see that butterfly you see how that butterfly has blossom has you know transitions all right and it's taking off and it's ready to take flight maybe she is telling someone like listen maybe once you start showing a little bit of honor and respect, things will be a little bit different here. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to allow you to keep backstabbing me and, you know, doing this in and out, back and forth, foolish drama. Like, that. Th 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 those days are over. Th this is someone that is realizing that a tough period in their time of their life that they experienced that maybe that they didn't want to... Uh, 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 face it didn't know how they were going to overcome it they are mentally over those phases and finally getting to the point where they're able to speak and face a truth because remember this was about truth the queen of swords in the reverse it's like i don't want to have to because do you see how masculine this queen of swords energy is do you understand like this person may have a few children with you and you are kind of like to your wits end with just kind of being nice about I feel like maybe in the past like you've held your tongue and maybe you've allowed this person to be in a state of lack around you and you allowed them to wear the honor of being the king of coins but really you stepped in in their shadow and overcompensated for their lack. Only to end up feeling like you end up getting your uh, a sword in your back in the end. And this Queen of Swords energy right here, I feel like it's to the point where um, it's a level of aggression where I am not going to hold my tongue i'm not going to be back down i'm not going to spare my feelings or the truth anymore for these kids because it's like i feel like maybe you had put up with a certain level of things or you maybe held your tongue and didn't say certain things to the king to the father to the masculine energy because of the children and i don't feel like you're going to live in those days anymore like i said the ten of swords is someone that's stepping out of fear whatever it was that was plaguing them whatever it was mentally that was their own enemy in their head like they have released that where it can't hurt them anymore like I, i'm not going to allow that to limit me anymore i'm going to speak and truth will be heard you know what i'm saying and i'm not going to be back down i'm not going to be intimidated i'm not going to be scared to tell you exactly how i feel and if i have to cut you out and if you don't have to have to never see me and these kids for a minute until you get your shit together then that's what i'm gonna have to do like that's like the kind of like energy that I'm getting here. What is this? The six of cups. It's like I need something that is emotionally balanced for me and my children. Because I want to be able to healthily give to my children. You know? And if I'm not emotionally balanced. And if I'm not in a place where I can give efficiently. And it could be given back to me. And it's harmonious. It's not going it, it, to. It's. 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 I want to create a situation for my children that I never had. I want my children to see, listen, I want my children to see me in a happy, healthy relationship. And they try to mimic that throughout their life. I don't want them to see this toxic shit. I don't want them to see me having a have all these goddamn negotiations and talks with you, me being stabbed in the back and manipulated, me having to get over this shit, me struggling, looking for a man to take care and step up and do some shit that you should have did and you don't want to stop. I, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want my children because this is a lot about the truth about your children, about that's, it's about family. Do you understand? 
and it's about a waste of time and this is what the prayer is about it's like i want true love i want to be able to be the definition of a healthy love environment for my children because i want it's like i want to kind of break Maybe like a generational curse, like maybe no one in your family actually had like a healthy, 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 healthy um, in a beautiful relationship. And it's like, I want to break that. I don't want to experience that no more, you know, and maybe right now until you really feel that, you know, that time is ticking. But at the same time, I'd rather time to tick on versus me wasted with something that's not going to last. Do you understand? So. This also represents like lack of planning. Like you might need to go back to the drawing board and just like refocus and restructure because at the same time, you do need to have a sense of respect of time and a sense of value of time. Do you understand? This can also represent, you know, and the only reason why I'm feeling like this is representing someone making the wrong choices all over again because it's someone having to go back to the drawing board. Do you understand? And something that they're going to start that's not going to last because they keep making the wrong decisions. Do you understand? So what I'm trying to tell you here is the seven of cups in the reverse can also represent some. If this was not here, okay, if this was not here and if this queen of wands in the reverse was not here, the queen of wands can mean someone is being promiscuous. Listen, promiscuous, attracting the same negative consequences over and over and over again attra attracting situations to their self that start but never finish never amount to anything that's a waste of time that it's like someone not having a sense of value do you understand that's what this means right here but what this is telling you is you cannot allow a person place a situation a thing to determine your value and where you stand you are the one you are the captain of your ship you are the master of your soul you are the uh creator of your destiny you need to start and spark that flame back within you and if you're doing that through play through prayer that's good because i really do feel like god is hearing your prayers because i really do feel like there's a lot of strength here and if someone that's finally able to speak and not only that i really do think and, and this queen of wands knows she knows at maybe right now she knows that she's kind of just dating right now and really don't care and it's not really looking for someone to invest her time in right now because she's looking for true love and until it until she gets that spark like that that flame until someone ignites her flame she might just be kind of playing around right now um but i feel like yeah either you need to face the truth that you are attracting men that are not bringing anything to the table and yeah, and what, whoever hurt you in the past, you need to let that go and finally cut that out so that you can attract a real love, a healthy love, and you can, you know, be the definition of true love for yourself and for your kids because there's a strong focus around your kids. There's a strong focus around your kids. Give me guidance on the prayer. The Empress... And the Empress is going into the, yeah, the Empress and the Emperor. So the prayer is like, I want true love. I want my counterpart. I, I, I don't, I'm not looking for nobody to make me whole. You know what I'm saying? Or be my other half. I want someone to be my equal. The same thing I'm bringing to the table, the same energy I'm bringing to the table, he's bringing this energy to the table with me or she's bringing this table. I want to have kids. I want the one. I want the one. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I really do feel like this is someone like facing some truths um, and realizing maybe what it was that they were attracting uh, because they're looking for the one. Look, the high priestess. This is the high priestess going into the empress. So you're going to have to take a moment to yourself. 
you're going to have to take a moment to yourself and kind of like cut everyone out and kind of balance the masculine and feminine energies within yourself because this is someone, this is a female or a male here that is definitely having to have the balance between the masculine and feminine energies because this is someone where they had people around them that was in a state of lack where they had to step up. Where this could have easily been, listen, a man that had to kind of step up and be more of a mother to their children because the mother wasn't there. You understand this could very much so be the fact that the mother was not there because at the end of the day, this person could 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 have been promiscuous and could have been out there. You know what I'm saying? And and do you understand? So, oh, what am I doing? The lovers in reverse. Your love is in the reverse. This is basically saying to me, the prayer right here is, I know what toxic love is. I know what unrequited love is. I know what it is to cheat. I know what it is to be cheated on. I understand all that dumb, low vibrational bullshit. I've been through that phase. I'm over that. I'm really over that, you know? And that's beneath me. That's beneath me right here. Because whenever I intertwine with that type of energy I always emotionally unravel and it gets me in a situation where my chariot isn't being driven with a full tank do you understand it's like I feel like my emotions are being driven off of temptation and greed and lust and mystery and and and, and, and <laughs> intrigue and all that stuff like that and I'm feeling like I could get farther than where I really can do you understand so that's what I'm trying to tell you it's like this energy right here this lovers in the reverse right here it's something that's just based off of lust and just sex and any relationship that is formed off of lust will never be successful you will waste your time it will start and it will fail as quickly as it as it begins you will start to attract the same shit over and over and over and over and over again in different type of vessels because at the same time the the queen of wands can be that feisty can uh can be feisty can be argumentative can be combative can be over sexual can be flirtatious can be uh frivolous can be all those good but then it can also be negative things too do you understand all in search for a soulmate so you have to watch that do you understand you have to watch that especially if it's someone that feels like I'm on some high priestess shit like that. I'm on. I'm. 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 I'm I just want to be to myself right now. But being to yourself right now could necessarily mean that with this lovers being in the reverse right here, and with this being right here, and what you have in this frustration with dealing with maybe the people that you had child a child with is not provided and not giving and you might just be trying to get your rocks off right now and that's cool but pay attention to the prayer and I feel like maybe that's what the truth is is like if this is what you truly want if this is what you truly want are uh, praying for pay attention to that flame because that flame should be passion and drive towards your ambitions and your goals of what you're praying for don't mistake it for lust do you understand what I'm saying? Don't do that. Because you got to be careful what you're creating here. Because it will always trick you and make it you think that your vessel is being driven in the right direction. And you can go farther than you actually can go. But that's based off of emotional lust. You got you to gotta watch that shit. Listen, the Empress. Always create good things with good people. And sometimes... We need to face that masculine and, and that feminine energy within each other with that high priestess. There's so much that we have to learn, but you have to learn it within yourself. You can't learn it through other people. Do you understand? You have to master that empress energy. And the empress 
actually means like someone reinventing their self do you understand like a makeover it might be time to make yourself over at this time and that's why whatever mental trauma whatever energy that you were dealing with in the past where you feel like you were attracting the king of coins listen the king of coins in the book verses is a woman taking care of a child by herself because there's a man that's in a state of lack that is not providing so she had to do it for the family the ten of swords someone getting over trauma abuse neglect betrayal you know and honestly getting to the point where they can turn things around and actually be able to face someone and speak their truth so they can be released and let free. Do you understand? Here goes this Queen of Wands. I mean this Queen of Swords energy. This female that is so dominant. That's having to be so masculine to have to stick up and stand up for her children. That like literally it's like if the, at this point in time if I have to cut your throat I will. You understand? Because I don't really want to hear anything more that you have to say. Because this energy here is unacceptable. And I have to face myself and realize why am I attracted in this type of situation. Because this is not what I want. This is what I want. You understand? This is what I want. Empress. The emperor. The emperor is someone who is respectful, who is loyal, who is courageous. You know? His energy is a leader. You know? Not a dictator, but a leader. You know? Someone who leads with his heart. He cares about his soldiers. He cares about his family. He wants to lead them to success. And he wants everyone to come home unscathed. So he's smart. He's, you know, military strategy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's get into love. Let's get further into the. Ooh. What is this? Hey, with that passion. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, with that damn beard card. I hate this damn beard card. Ah, blah. Okay. So, again, here goes the passion. It goes, like I'm saying, it's a lot of passion. And don't take it in the wrong way. Because if you're single, you can't date and do what you want to do. But you just got to be careful of what you're attracting. Because the way your actions, the way your body is being driven, the way you're moving right now, are you contradicting what you're praying for because regardless of what you're praying for the universe is going to give you what you want based off of your action and I feel like that's the truth that you need to look at and it could be very much so a woman that might have had enough and just been dealing with a lot and she might be more her masculine energy right now but at the same time trying to call in the message of the of a king she's trying to create something she wants the one her flame is lit but I feel like um you know it may be more lustful. It says passion, anger, courage. And then you can barely see strength right here. But strength is written right here. But that's something that you can't see. And, and, and I feel like that's so important for me to point out right here. It's like you have a lot of passion right now. But it's driven off of anger. And the anger is feeding that courage. But what you don't see is the strength too. I feel like to overcome that anger... And maybe like have a balance with that dominant side because we want not to waste our time. Honestly, we want this Ace of Pentacles to be in the upright, not in a reverse. We want something that's going to last so we're not wasting our time. We want something that's going to start new and that's going to finish strong. We're not impressed by all these options anymore. Do you understand? We've learned a lot of lessons where we're able to really see the true emotional value in our selections and be able to really pick that diamond rose this time and not just walk by it, you know, being able to tame our fire sometimes. And even with that Queen of Wands energy, that is being able to tame your anger because sometimes your anger can influence your how driven you are. And what your passions influence you. If your anger, a queen of wands is motivated off of her passion. So if she's angry right now, she might go out there and like 
go seduce someone just to get some anger and frustration out. You know what I'm saying? And just throw them away. Like, you just a throwaway right now. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. I get it. But what you don't see, again, on this card is the strength. Again, do you see the strength written right here? That's what you don't see. That's the purest thing you can have. Purest thing that you have. You could be red hot. You could have a flame. But let it be passions geared towards your strengths. Not your ego. Not off of hurt. Not, you know, just because you have this rage and inferno in you. And, and, and you're not really making a true sense of value at time. And you want something, but your actions might not really be attracting something that's really worth the value. Um, we got the balloon here. This fell out in the reverse. It's like the, it's like you want to fly away and have a certain sense of freedom, but it's all about what you can consider as freedom. You know, too much freedom, you can get away with yourself. You know, some people can be a slave to having too much freedom. Where they don't know how to kind of restrict themselves and have the strength to find some discipline and order. Because they want freedom. They're so used to freedom. Being able to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like if you're trying to create the one... And your passion is driven to that. And that's what you're praying about. And you really trying to manifest this king. Or you're trying to be a king. It might be time for you to tame some type of passions. Especially the passions that are driven off of anger. And really have the courage and the strength to like face the truth about that. And some truths about yourself. Because you only attract what you kind of put out. Do you understand? So you are what you eat. So if you don't like what you're attracting or if you don't like something, it's something that you need to face the truth about. Um, and it's beer in the reverse. This says ma maturity. There's a lack of maturity here. Um, I'm hearing sexual fl fluidity and like freedom and stuff like that. I get it. It's like you want to be... I get it. I get it. But at the same time, um, it may be time to kind of grow up in some sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's something that you have to like face the truth about in love and like maybe have some actions. Uh, Maybe you're tracking some of the experiences. Oh, God. The snake in the reverse. It's like... You have to stop entangling with the forbidden. It's like some... How, some way... Like I said, the... You go from one situation to another, and it's just... I feel like, God, I don't want to say this. What is this? And this confirmation at the bottom, God, it just fucked me up. So it's like you're going from worse to worser, you know? And I feel like it's because you're being driven by some level of anger and some, like, low-level passion because I feel like maybe right now you might be driven off of sex, and it's because you're, you're you're single, you're a bachelorette, or you're a bachelor, and you can do what you want to do. Um, but if you really want to be a king, and you want to step up, and you want to change your life, and you want to attract, because even the, the flame can be attraction, you know what I'm saying? Like a moth to the flame, you know? Like a moth to a flame burned by the fire. That's the way love goes, you know? You gotta watch what you're attracting, you guys. Stop entangling yourself with these snakes. 
I really do feel like maybe someone's looking for the wrong so what you consider freedom actually isn't freedom at all because some sense of lack of maturity there's something hidden with that beard you know to me the beard card is an actual beard like someone that is like a down low lifestyle or something like that like that's what that card means to me but I'm not necessarily picking up on that one but what I'm picking out is what is down low what is beneath what is being hidden is that I feel like you somehow get yourself entangled with low hanging fruit yeah like low hanging fruit like You have to stop getting yourself entangled in these situations with these type of people because what you really want is not what you're attracting. And it has to do based off of your passions and your energy that you are putting off. And that's why you're attracted to this type of situation. And it's like, God, here's your prayer. But at the end of the day, I mean, this could easily just be you constantly getting mixed up in third-party situations. Like, you're dealing with people that are already... like. And it's like you're not. This could be like someone that they're not attracting people that actually are, are looking to give them commitment. Therefore, they'll go and be the third in someone else's relationship because they are not finding someone to commit to them and to give them what they need. For their situation, they'll just take anything right now just to be having sex or, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, well, fuck it, well, I'm single and I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's not being mature. You think that that's freedom, but that's not freedom. It's like you're going to be a slave to your own sense of freedom because it's like what you really want. You're never going to get with whatever type of behavior this is. It's not going to amount to nothing. As soon as it starts, it's going to stop. As soon as you get let up, it's going to let you back down because it's not going to go nowhere. Because it's like your sense of love is like being entangled in the forbidden. Do you get me? What is this? A dark haired woman with a forest of space. Like, this is someone that is needing to like get the message and like take a break, take a rest from whatever it is you're going to do. Um, it's like this is someone that's bedridden in sick bed. Um, I'm even getting abortion, like, um, like a loss of child. Uh, yeah, it's like watch what you're doing because, like, if you don't take the time and. Focus on your energy as the as a mother, as the creator. Do you understand? With this high priestess energy. And take a true sense of value itself. Like really go through and harness this self-discovery energy. Because listen, this is the empress. This is the baby. This is the lovers. In the reverse. So this could very much be a baby that's created out of wedlock, a baby that is created based off of a third party situation, like a secret child or something like that. Do you understand something that's hidden with the the high priestess that, that could be like you watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. And it could be someone that you were forbidden to deal with. So it's like you can't even watch yourself. Do you understand? It's time for you to assess and take stock of what it is that you're doing and really like figure out if it's kind of worth it and based off of what you're trying to attract are you really trying to track that based off of your actions which is a two of diamonds it's good pleasant pastime like okay so the two of diamonds that's communication okay so that's like having intellectual communications uh, with someone, um, like a conversation. So, you know, this could be someone that you've been dealing with that um, you might have known for some time. Like, 
I heard novelty freak. What the fuck does that mean? Anyway, like, I, um, like you guys might, I'm, I'm here like, this might be someone that y'all might have a connection because y'all like read all of the Game of Thrones or, uh, it's like some type of book or just like some, in, it's some type of direct connection and it's something that y'all do together and y'all have a direct connection with each other some type of novelist or some type of uh intellectual connection where like only you two can kind of like have that type of conversation or be with each other on that level or something like that it's like some type of connection Like, you guys might be into Marvel Comics, or you guys might be part of the same social group or something like that, where you guys might be always around each other and stuff like that. Then the marriage card here. So, like, this person uh, could be married. Do you understand? This person could already be married. And that's why, listen, the four spades... Four represents a foundation. Do you understand? So it's like a lacking foundation. Okay? So this person could have a lacking foundation in his marriage with this dark-haired woman or something like that. And you two know each other through pastimes, through some type of social group, through your social connections or something like that. But this person is definitely married. Or about to get married. This is the uh, the five of hearts that represents the feminine energy. Whoever the woman is is extremely feminine, like very. I want to say prissy, very girly. Like likes to wear the dresses and the makeup, and is into the hair. I'm seeing like kind of natural hair or into hair or if it's wigs or something into makeup and hair and all of that stuff like that like yeah you know but it could be some type of disdain at the house with that four of spades right there and that could very much so mean that they could have took it, taken a break or needed to take a break the dark haired man and the dark haired woman This is the Jack of Spades right here. The Jack of Spades is a fucking troublemaker. I'm sorry, like. <laughs> the Jack of Spades is a fucking troublemaker. This is like kind of a, a very progressive, persistent energy. It's like this person really goes what for what they want, regardless if it's good or bad. That's why the forbidden is here. So it could be very much so that this person is forbidden like, you know this person through, like, a social circle or something like that. But this person could very much so be married with the four of spades being right here. And the marriage card, the wedding card right here. Like, this person is either engaged. This is this person's fiancé. Um, this person could just be looking for really a fun time. Like, this motherfucker, no. Ugh. What's the outcome? Give me the sexual energy in this one. some money hmm what's at the bottom fright mm -mm -mm. all right so i feel like there could very much so be some type of disdain in a home environment here and let me just real quick just show you what the I'm gonna just break and I know that I'm doing a tad bit much right now, but y'all just gonna have to flow with me because it's what the fuck I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> so the four of spades means illness, recuperation, the need for caution, the sick bed, a hospital room, coffin, a jail cell, rest, confinement, exhaustion. The need to take it easy, move at a slower pace, being bedridden, feeling fenced in, 
staying at home, an unhealthy situation, feeling trapped, feeling sick and tired. Do you understand? So, like I said, there could very much so be some type of disdain in a home environment. Very much so some disdain in a home environment. But it looks like there's just someone that this person is in a situation with. And then let me just tell you real quick. The Jack of Spades is a fucking asshole. He's a skillful, clever, young person. Most awfully a male. A soldier, a cadet. He could be a police officer. A young person from a foreign country. A young leader. May often be unsettled. Erratic. See, that's why this, that's what this comes down here. Which is unsettled. Erratic. Emotionally inconsistent, a troubled youth, a bully, a gang member, a juvenile delinquent, cold, calculating, emotionally controlled, detached, a liar, a spy, could represent dark thoughts or thoughts of the king or queen of spades and a dark energy. So, with that being said, emotional inconsistent erratic, unsettled, to me, young-minded, skillful, clever person, like this person knows what they're doing, and if they could use this energy for something positive, it might amount to something, but this is the forbidden, this person, this person knows, this person knows that they're married, for whatever reason, things are not good here with this dark-haired woman. This, there seems to be some level of un, they're unsatisfied, but they're at having fun, being entertained by and with you. However, this marriage is here. This is the some money card. The seven of the seven of clubs represent someone. Being in a situation that they didn't necessarily see their self being in, but having to do whatever it is, putting whatever work in, however painstakingly it is to do whatever they need to do to kind of uh, get the best out of the situation. So as long as they get some money back, you understand what I'm saying? Like they don't want to lose everything. I'm going to do whatever I can to kind of salvage this. So you understand what I'm saying? So like. It's not all of what they want, but it's some of what they want. So, this situation right here that they're dealing with, it's not necessarily what they want at home. Um, it does give them some sense of satisfaction, but just not everything. But again, we're talking about the jack of spades. This is someone who's emotionally inconsistent and erratic. Like this is someone that um, is a troublemaker. Just like I said, you know, this one could just literally be out just for a good time and really has no intentions of, of really trying to develop anything for you and with you. Like I said, this ace of pentacles in reverse. So if you are dealing with someone, if you know that you're the third party in somebody else's situation, you know that you're a lover. Watch what you're doing, especially if you have an unprotected sex, because it could very much so <laughs> develop into a child. The high priest priestess represents childbirth. The empress represents childbirth. You understand? And the high priestess represents someone being alone. You know? The empress is a woman that is creating new beginnings, new birth. That is getting their environment together that lives in a lap of luxury and comfort. And that should and would and better have the comfort of the emperor around. Especially if they're trying to create this. But you can't create that based off of this. God will never bless you with somebody else's man. So this is the thing. It's like, because I'm really getting this energy strong here. It's like, this is the general energy of what you want, but this is what we're doing. And this is what we're creating. These type of motherfuckers. We don't want these type of people in our life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, they're smart, but they use it for negative shit. 
don't, even if you're just trying to have fun, like, don't even stick your foot in the pond of the forbidden. Do you understand? It's just going to end up being a fucking nightmare for you. It's going to be a nightmare for you. This is going to be a disaster. And I really do feel like the, the worst thing that you could that could possibly happen in your life right now is an unwanted pregnancy. Because you're going to be right back here again. And now you got someone new that you shouldn't have been talking to in the beginning. When you already got somebody over here that you already fussing at because you're having to kind of stand up and be the man and the woman for the children that you had. You're going to create another fucking situation. You know? The Six of Cups could be someone also with like rose colored glasses. Like, focused on a pastime memory instead of focusing kind of on reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, in love with love. Do you understand? So, but you could be in love with love attracting all the wrong things in all the wrong places. Don't ever, like, lower yourself to be the third. Or, or allow someone to put you in a third vibrational... That's a third vibrational situation. Listen, the nine of spades, okay? This is a card that represents sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional or physical pain, grief, malice. This is a very unfortunate card. And for bodies, tragic, tragic events, including accidents, serious illnesses, serious injury, self-injury... Harm to oneself or another. Feeling pressured or forced to do something. It can indicate a loss of control. Breakdown of established patterns. It can represent disappointments. Or broken heart. Karmic debts. Obligations. And duty to self or another. So again. Like I said. You could be. Someone needs to. I think the truth here. Is like you want a king. Or you want to be a king and you're trying to create something new and you're searching for the one and your passion is lit and you're praying for this. But at the same time, are the actions that you create and is it creating something that's going to last or is this going to create something that's going to fall in your face? You have to look at what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep passing the diamond rose. You got to learn from your mistakes. You got to learn from your mistakes. You can't allow whatever failures past failures whatever shit determine your actions you can't just be like oh because this happened to me i'm just saying fuck it so i'm just out here just doing anything doing anything gonna get you anything do you understand what i'm saying like that's not love what you want is love so if you want love you need to operate and vibrate on a vibration of love or you will get yourself in the situation right where you were before where yeah you're beautiful you're trying to create this comfortable situation, but if you create in a third uh, 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 unwanted child, it might not be an unwanted child, but you're going to feel like that once you realize that it was created out of a situation where you're going to be a single mother, you know? Again, having to stand up and protect your children alone, having to be the masculine and feminine and having to cut people out in not a very nice way. And people are seeing your children are seeing you doing this. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like paying attention to repetitive patterns, basically, and focusing on your prayer. If that's what you're praying for, actually move like that's what you're praying for. You keep putting your foot in the pond of the forgetting you're going to Forbidding, you're going to get forbidden fucking results. Shit that you, <laughs> you know, wish and that you, you would, you know, wouldn't want to happen to anyone. You know? So, watch those passions and those desires. Nothing that is driven from lust or anger or lack of strength will ever be successful so i love you guys i hope you received this message i'm out oh lord jesus i'm so sorry that was disrespectful bye <laughs>